YouTube, it's me, Lewis, back with another video. I haven't made a sit down and talk video in a while, so I guess I'll start making those again. I haven't really had nothing to talk about until now. Um, this week, well, last weekend, well, let's just say Miss Fall, Fall, whatever, bitch, Fall is out to kill everybody. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they didn't spray it in the air during this air and water show. But, um, yeah, I said an air and water show. I don't trust that. I don't, I just don't trust that air and water show. They spraying something in the air. But now it's, it's crazy. Everybody, something going on with everybody's throats. Everybody, something going on. They throw hurt. They got to go to the hospital for it. Some just ain't adding up. So, this week, well, it's now Thursday, October 7th, 6.50 in the morning. Um, the first day of fall, which was, I'm not sure. When was the first day of fall? Fall began September 23rd. And the first day of fall, September 23rd. Now, if everybody, if anybody, or if you know me, if you know me, you know fall is my favorite season. You know I love fall, whatever. So I've been fall. Can't wait till fall. The very first day of fall, I got sick. Like the very first day. Like I didn't it ain't even. I didn't even. It didn't even gradually build. It just the first day of fall, I was sick. Okay, I let that. Okay, okay. Everybody's sick. Everybody's getting sick, you know. No, no problem. So, like three, four days later, I started feeling better. Me, I know why I got sick, or I guess because I would go to the gym, and I guess I'd still be sweaty or whatever, and I went outside, which is stupid on my end. But okay, I went outside. Well, oh, three days, four days pass. I get better or whatever. And I still feel something in my throat though. I like feel something like it's it's like it's not going away. But I figured, okay, it's been only like three days. It'll go away soon. Um three days I'm still going to the gym. Three days after well, when I discovered I'm like, okay, my throat, it ain't going nowhere. But I really didn't pay attention to it. I just feel like, okay, give it a week and maybe it'll go away. So I go to the gym, keep doing at this point I'm not when I was sick, I was, I wasn't blowing my nose. I just had mucus and my nose was stopped up or whatever. But, um, yeah, I was going after those three days. That was I had nothing else. I didn't, I didn't have a stopped up nose or whatever. I didn't have a throat. I didn't, well, I did. My throat was still hurting, but that's beside the point. But after the three days, I was still a little sick, but it was like going away. But I still noticed my throat was getting better after like a week and a half. So I'm like, okay, something's wrong, something's going on. I'm like, but maybe you're still sick because, you know, sick, you can be sick longer than a week or whatever. So I'm like, okay, two weeks here, I'm perfectly normal. I'm perfectly normal. Like, I have energy. I don't, it's nothing wrong with me, but my throat. It's still my throat. Something's still wrong with my throat. I still feel something in my throat. Now, the feeling that I felt was like, you know how you eat popcorn and popcorn stuck in the back of your throat? Like, it's something like one of those little popcorn things. That's how it felt. So I'm like, okay. But last Friday was when I really noticed it. I'm like, okay, something going on. It's like, okay, I feel this like popcorn thing. Man, you the day, that Friday, I noticed it. But Thursday, I was just eating popcorn. I'm like, okay. Friday, just drink some water, drink some water, maybe it'll go away. It wasn't, it was irritating, but it wasn't painful. Like, it was just annoying. Like, what is that? Um, so Friday, I'm like, okay. Then Friday, I was playing a game. I was playing a game, sitting down, just chilling. I'm like, no, this can't be no damn popcorn. This ain't no popcorn because it would have been gone. It's damn near 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I noticed this at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, this ain't no popcorn. So I go in the bathroom. And I sound tired, sick, or whatever. I just woke up. It is. I woke up at 6 o'clock. It's 
But um, yeah, I, I woke up, I went, I got up, went to the bathroom, and I opened my mouth and I looked in the back of my throat with my with the flash on. I looked in the back of my throat. I saw um, I saw this white thing on my tonsils. I'm like, I immediately just stopped and got nervous, scared. I don't know what the fuck that was. I'm like, oh shit, I got something. I got something. Oh my god. I didn't panic though. I did, but I didn't say nothing. I'm like, okay. Don't panic until you figure out what it is. So, I went on YouTube. I turned, I typed in literally, white lump on the back of my throat. It was literally a white lump. Like, I don't know what the fuck it was, or I didn't know what it was. So I'm like, okay. So I looked on YouTube. They was like, okay, it's a tonsil stone. I'm like, what type of shit is this? Who ever heard of, the, who, who makes this shit up? Literally what I said, who makes this, who makes this shit up? tonsil stone I'm like are you serious so I'm okay how do you get how you take care of it how do you you know whatever so tonsil stones is pretty much when you have mucus build up mucus or bacteria that builds up in your um, back of your throat on your tonsils and it um, creates this stone like a hard piece of thing that's stuck to your throat me only had one, as far as I know. But people get multiple. So the way you take it out is you gargle salt water. The doctor told me that, that really doesn't work. Um, but I did it on my own before I went to I went to the doctor Monday. This all happened on Friday. Um, she said, I mean, they said on YouTube, they said just take a, uh, what's that called? Take a... Uh, Take a Q-tip. Take a Q-tip. They said take a Q-tip and just go through the tonsils and just take it out yourself. That should work. Which took me a while, but I eventually got it out. Now they said these tonsil stones create, and they sit there long enough. They sit there, and they don't come over 24 hours. So I probably had it the first day of fall. I just didn't notice it because I was sick. Um... They say, I sound sick now, but I'm not. Um, they say um, they can create halitosis. They make your, well, why they in your mouth still, not when they out, but they, they create halitosis. They make your throat hurt real bad. You have fever, you have um, fatigue and all that other stuff. So. Yep, that's what goes on with that one little thing, or if you have multiple, that thing. So, you know, I took it out. Cool, my throat was hurting bad. It was like, I guess, swelled up at this point because I was poking the back of my throat with a Q-tip. So Saturday, Saturday was painful. I couldn't, I could eat, but it would hurt to eat or swallow anything. Um, I had a fever or whatever. Went away the next day or a couple of hours, I guess. It didn't last long. Sunday, eh, I don't really remember what happened Sunday. Sunday, no. Sunday, it felt like everything was getting better. My throat was, like, Monday. It's like one of those feelings like, okay, is you when you know you're going to be not sick the next day, it was like that. Like, okay, I know I should be better tomorrow. It was like that. This should be gone by tomorrow. Monday hits and... It was fucked up. I don't know what the fuck was happening. I woke up. Everything was just my tonsils. The little ugular thing in my mouth was big, like oversized, big as hell. And I thought I was tripping. When I woke up, my ugular was stuck between my tonsils. So I'm like, I could have literally just died in my sleep. Cause, and the only reason I woke up is because I couldn't breathe. So I'm like, wake up, go to the bathroom, and I open my throat up and breathe heavy and that I guess fixed it not really everything felt so big I just literally left out left the house at six o'clock in the morning went straight to the hospital and they told me to explain what's going on and the side of my fucking neck was like I don't know what the hell that was the side of my neck was like sore and it was I mean 
this it was going on since su- Saturday. Sunday, my neck was like hurting. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Maybe it's the way I slept. Yesterday, no, not yesterday. Monday, I had like a lump on my neck. I'm like, swollen lymph node. No, that wasn't it. It was like my neck was swelled up. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this? What what is going on? So I'm like, told the doctor. He was like, yeah, it looks a little swollen. Um. Told him what was going on, he didn't know shit. So I went to another doctor in the same hospital, so I just went to another doctor. He transferred me to another doctor. And they told me pretty much, you know, the swollen shit because of the tonsils and and she was like explain to me what it what like what what's going on. I'm like, my tonsils and everything feels big. Like everything just don't feel right. She was like, okay. Open your mouth and um, say ah whatever. So I'm like, she's like, yeah, your tonsils are very very big and your, your it's very very big. It's just everything is exactly what you say. I'm like, okay, I wasn't tripping, but the lump on my neck, she didn't know what that was. I didn't even know the swelling. I don't know what the fuck that was, but she said I, it's an infection. I had some type of infection, throat infection. So I'm like, okay, I'm like. Like, what the fuck? This shit is crazy. I'm like, okay. I sound so dead and dry because it's early as hell. I was supposed to film this yesterday, but I got tired. Um, so, yeah, she prescribed me to some antibiotics, and I've been taking that for, well, since Monday, and it's now Thursday. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've been taking antibiotics, and my throat and my neck is when down. It's, you know... I have no more pain. I don't have any more pain in my neck and throat, so I guess that's a that's good. Not that I guess that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So, you know, I guess everything's working. I look so tired, but um, yeah, I guess I could be going more detail about this story, but it's not really. It's just I don't know. I. I don't know. Something has been. I don't trust this bullshit. I just know something that ain't right. Everybody, this. I literally hear like four people something going on with their throat. Now, normally, I think last year ain't nobody. I ain't hear shit about nobody's throat. But that's a different story. That's above me now. But um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I guess everything's good now. I don't have to go. I me, mean, I literally thought I was gonna have to get my tonsils removed. I thought like my tonsils too big, and it's not the first doctor that told me that. When I went to go get checked out for that HIV shit last time, if you haven't seen that video, it'll be linked in a bio. No, just if you haven't seen that video, it'll be in the in the. If you haven't seen that video, it will be linked in the description. But when I went to go get tested for that, I was very nervous about that. But um, the doctor told me your tonsils are big. I'm like, what does that mean? Like. Y'all, what does that mean? Do I have to get them taken out? And now I'm hearing it again. Like, do I have to get them taken out? But I guess not. But I'm good. I'm not in no type of pain. I'm, I feel like I'm getting sick again. I don't, I hope not. But, but yeah, other than that, tonsil songs, they say it pretty much. It's nothing really to worry about. It's normal. Um, from what I'm just learning, it's normal. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. But yeah, that'll conclude this video. Thanks for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.